Hello my friends, welcome to my channel Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy and I'm so glad that you are here today. We are taking a look at an angel reading. So I do this every Monday. It's Monday still here at my house and uh, I do this every Monday. So they are timeless though. So whenever you're finding this reading, doesn't matter when it was posted, if you like this style of reading and you find that it resonates for you, it's probably a message for you. and. Again, if you like the style of reading, check out the playlist. They are all timeless and you can literally scroll through and if something jumps out at you, there's probably a message there for you. All right, so thank you so much for being here or coming back. I appreciate you coming back. Join my community here and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done that and you like the style of reading. Let's go ahead and get started. I have change, change and transition. At the time of recording this, we are in a big giant lunar, sorry, solar eclipse energy. We're in the middle of eclipse season at the time of recording this. So there is a lot of change and a lot of transition taking place. And so this is perfect to come out for us today. But you're mastering the change. You're mastering the growth. You're mastering the transformation that you've been going through. So I feel like if you're feeling the energy and it doesn't feel very good, this is coming out in your strength position saying, first of all, you're protected. You've got two very, three very powerful archangels here that are with you, protecting you, guiding you, and taking you through a massive change. So. This massive change is something in your life is, is changing, but it's coming out. These cards are coming out in your strength position. So I feel like this change is positive. First of all, it's positive. You're being guided and protected through it. But also I feel like you're mastering something. You're mastering this change, whatever it is that maybe you're letting go of a karmic cycle or something in your life. I feel like you're mastering this. So even if you don't feel like you're In, maybe you don't feel like you're very confident right now. Maybe you're not feeling very sure about this change and you may be being triggered and stuff. I feel like here in another few days, you are going to feel like oh, so much better. You're going to feel more balanced. You're going to feel more stable. You're going to feel more confident and you're going to feel more clear, perhaps about letting go of something in your life that needed to be let go of. Perhaps you're letting go of karmic cycles, karmic ways of thinking or behaving old stories, you know? You're mastering that. You're mastering the old stories. You're mastering this change. You're mastering the growth. You're mastering the healing that you've been going through. And it's all to prepare you for whatever this change is. There's big change taking place in your life. And so something in your life is, is changing. And it's putting you, this change is putting you into alignment with what is literally destined for you. Could have to do with love, could have to do with money, could have to do with anything, really. I'm seeing a lot of purple and red that is your, your base chakra, your root chakra. That has to do with your feeling of stability and safety in the world and your abundance, but also your crown chakra, which is you are receiving guidance. You're receiving guidance. You are receiving intuitive messages. You're receiving in guidance. You're receiving guidance from and messages from your angels, from your from the universe, and from your intuition that is guiding you to your highest good. So it's maybe helping you through this process because this is a lot of change, and it's coming out in your strength position. Meaning you're you're finding your strength through this. This is kind of like your superpower right now. So you should be very proud of the changes that have that have taken place in your life and the things that you have let go of that were not serving you anymore, the decisions that you're making right now. You should be super proud of yourself. I am extremely proud of you <laughs> for these heavy energies coming out in your strength position. You've got this powerful Archangel Michael who has that sort of truth that may be cutting things out in your life that don't serve you anymore, but you're powering through it. You're getting through it. So I love this. Archangel Michael says, thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. You are always protected. You are always guided and you are never alone. 
Archangel Azrael here with the Change in Transition card. Thank you, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change. And the Transformation card. I feel like something in your life is not going to look the same on the other side of this. I don't know what that is because it's going to be different for each of us. Thank you, Zadkiel, Archangel Zadkiel here. Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. Love it. You're transforming from past challenges, meaning you are getting the you're 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 getting the um, the power over your past challenges. You're moving out of a challenging cycle and moving into a new cycle. What is your heart? want to add to this. Okay, there's a card here that wants to come out. Let's see what it is. Oh, healthy choices. Maybe for some of you, those healthy choices are have to do with a, an exercise program or something. Healthy choices in your diet and exercise, perhaps. This can also be moving energy, creating healthy boundaries making healthy choices to protect your energy, protect your space. This, your heart is talking about this. It's in your heart energy here. So it's either your, your heart is guiding you to maybe um, make some changes in your boundaries that you set for yourself, or your heart is telling you well done in the boundaries that you have set for yourself. I'm getting something around boundaries, but for some of you, this is also maybe your heart has been telling you to make some different choices in your eating or your exercise habits, okay? So either it's congratulating you for doing that, or it's guidance that you need to do that. So again, this is either energetic or this is literally your body making healthy choices. Maybe it, this should be a confirmation for you if that's, if that's you. And so you may be feeling, uh, maybe your heart has been telling you to stop drinking coffee, you know, or stop having sugar, <laughs> making some sort of change in your healthy lifestyle, okay? Or exercise. Let that be a confirmation if that's your story, if that's you, if that's you that this reading is for. This is also energetic, so creating boundaries, choosing to protect your, your space, choosing to protect your peace, choosing to protect your energy, and also moving your body moves the energy if you've been feeling stuck in any area of your life. Um, this can be, you know, getting out and taking a walk. This can be going swimming. This can be, you know, just moving around your house just to move the energy if you've been feeling stuck. So take it how it fits, but your, your heart is telling you something about making better choices for your body or your energy and also moving some of that energy if you've been feeling stuck, moving your body exercise wise or moving your energy. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. Moving your body says, thank you, angels, for motiva motivating me to move my body and my energy. Let's see what comes up in your challenge position or something you might be working through this week. Ooh, taking a break. What else? Taking time to breathe feels very much like self-care for some of you. Getting in the flow, getting out of the, the struggle, getting in the flow. Being in the flow of the universe is like getting out of the hustle and getting out of the overwhelm. You might be feeling stressed. And I've got honor, honor your feelings, and interestingly, it has the moon. So, you know, it is the moon is kind of overseeing a lot of this energy this week. Taking time to breathe and really feel the energy, feel your feelings, feel your body protect your space. There's something around, you know, healthy boundaries and stuff, but also self-care, 
taking time to breathe and get in the flow and not let your feelings take you and overwhelm you. Honor the feelings because your feelings are valid. Honor what you're feeling at this time because there's things that could be triggering you. There's things that are coming up. There's things that are coming up to be moved out. Honor the feelings, but also give yourself time. Give yourself time this week. Go slow. Take time to breathe. Take time to breathe and breathe and breathe. Take time to breathe in a meditative way and in a grounding way. Take time for you. Go slow. Don't Try not to rush this week. Try not to rush in any area of your life. And also breathing through, you know, emotions this week is big because we're feeling a lot and you've been going through quite a transformation. You've got a lot of transformation, change and transition energy here. So feel your feelings, breathe through them. Don't let them take you down a road, a rabbit hole of negativity. Feel your feelings, honor them, look at them. See what's, feel what's coming up for you and honor them. And then how can I choose me? How can I choose something different if they're negative? How can I choose something different? How can I choose to, to validate myself? How can I choose to take care of myself? How can I choose to show up for myself? How can I choose to slow down and breathe and trust? and get in that flow. The energy of the universe is flow. You know, when we try to resist the change that's taking place, it causes resistance and it causes us to get out of the flow and it causes then us to get all bleh, in our energy and in our, in our thinking and everything. How can I get in the flow? How can I rest? How can I just breathe through all of this and get in the flow of the change? Breathe through it. It helps you to flow through it. Breathe through it and count your blessings. Because when you focus on everything that is going right, that helps you to get out of your head and into your heart. And it also helps to attract more things that are going right. And it, no matter what you're feeling through this change and this transition and this energy of the moon, no matter what you're feeling, there is always something that you can be grateful for. Always something that you can be grateful with genuine appreciation feelings for. Always, no matter what. Even if it's just a glass of water. Even if it's just a hot shower. Even if it is your favorite coffee. Even if it is your pet or your best friend. Whatever it is, there's always something, okay? Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. Taking time to breathe, self-care, big, big this week. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease knowing that you are here. Trusting, trusting, trusting that you are protected and you are going towards where you want to be. It's the highest. You're being taken to your highest good. And if you can trust that and let go of the resistance and let go of needing to control the outcome and trust yourself, trust the universe, trust your angels. It's going to help things go a lot easier for you and you will be in that flow. Also with Archangel Haniel, she is the, the angel that helps increase your psychic awareness, which is big right now too. The veil between the worlds is thinner at this time. And so Archangel Haniel showing up makes perfect sense. Increasing your psychic awareness, trusting your psychic hits, trusting your dreams and your visions that you may be having that are taking you in the direction that you want to go in and leading you through this change that you've been going through foretelling your future. The veil between the worlds is thinner. You're going to receive some intuitive hits. If you're not already, you will, you will and perhaps dreams, okay? Also with her showing up here. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. Don't try to resist your emotions right now, honor them. 
but also be aware of what is coming up because it's coming up for a reason because it's part of this train change and transition that's going on and a lot of these things are coming up to be purged and left in the past because we're closing doors and cycles we're getting closure on past cycles at this time so honor what's coming up and be in a way in a place of awareness so that you can kind of step out of it but you're honoring it at the same time and then you're asking yourself how can I honor myself through this how can I choose myself how can I take care of myself how can I show up for myself in these feelings that I have okay I hope that you found what you needed by this reading and if this one didn't resonate for you one of the other ones may like I said there's a an entire playlist and whatever jumps out at you or sounds like your story is probably a message for you take it how it fits for you and I will see you in the next reading